Hi, Hi guys. guys. We're the Addicted, Addicted Sisters. Sisters. I'm Nancy. I'm Laura. And we're here again on our normal day to give you our next installment of Flosstube. We're finally not busy, not traveling. Oh my gosh, it feels so good just to be <laughs> home on a Saturday. I love going, but mm -hmm. goodness. And I think I don't know how to act when we're here on I know. doing a regular video. We, I know. Um, we've we noticed that when we do videos on Friday night, we both are a little <laughs> droopy. Yeah, a little worn out. So we may be a little goofy today. today. So uh, we've had a great week watching yes. Floss 2. Yes, it was so much fun. So many I, new people. And I think you've watched with, and not new to Floss 2, new to us. Yes, definitely. Um, something that I wanted to talk about real quick before we do those shout outs. Okay. Is that um, we were encouraged to start a Floss 2. And so we decided we would do that. We didn't know anything about Floss 2. No, never even heard the term. Mm -mm. And um, we, honest, we were like those people in um, Heart's Desire going, Floss Tube? Floss Tube? You mean YouTube? Uh, yeah, <laughs> kind of a little like that. And in fact, I think um, we, we were kind of talking about, yeah, maybe we'll do that. And one day I sent Nancy a message and said, oh my gosh, you've got to go watch Priscilla and Chelsea. I think you would really like this Floss Tube. And a, a couple hours later, Nancy replied back, We can do this. <laughs> and that's how it started. And I think we, that was during the week, and so we yeah. filmed on that Saturday. Yeah. And we started <laughs> in the midst of all of our all of our busy, busy, busy time where we were planning for mm -hmm. our, our event. And mm -hmm. yeah, so it was kind of crazy. So, yeah, and it started out, it was only going to be like once a month, once a quarter, and then I got this sneaky in here. Well, I think we need to do it again. We got some new stuff. Let's do it again this week. I want to show my whips. <laughs> you got to show your whips. Come on. So the parade had to start and it had to keep going. That's right. So and now it's just a thing and we yeah, enjoy it. Now it's fun. Yeah. So the people that we've watched this week, who did you watch? I watched all of Melly Ellie. I watched I think I've seen three of them. I think I need two more, and I'll be all the way caught up. She's. Aren't you amazed that she's... What kind of engineer is she? Yes. yes. Yeah, I mean... A mechanical engineer because she works for Ford. Yes, and I'm just like, oh my goodness, this girl's got brains, too. That's why she gets it all. She's That's got the wonderful. math down. Yeah. And um, I love that she's just back to it after a break from yeah, stitching. that was cool. You're really doing a great job. Yes, so keep it up. So keep it up, Melanie. Um, and then who else did I you watch? I watched Yvonne, the Night Owl Stitcher. Me too, finally. Woo! I saw one. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't had as much time this week, but I did I did see one of hers. And the reason I haven't had as much time <laughs> is because I watched... Now, this is a tongue twister. <laughs> Flissy Fish Cross Stitcher. Yay, you said it. I did. <laughs> And her name is Felicity, and she lives in Australia, and I love to listen to her because I love that accent. But she's really fascinating, and she is younger, and she has um, recently gotten her teaching certificate, and so she's been teaching sections, and she's another um, maths person. So, oh. But she stitches huge projects, um, and she makes things for her niece. Really, Aww, really sweet. So sweet. she stitched this huge Elsa from oh. uh, Frozen for mm -hmm. her niece and it is it's it's more like a lifelike Elsa oh wow and it's at I believe it's a heaven and earth design it's full of bling um, I binge watched her <laughs> and so it was really cool when the Olympics were around she did the um, stitch mania challenges every day oh and she did it in this um, po in this um, vlog style so that it's all in one video but it starts and stops oh and you just how fun so you get to see, so you get to see the progression yes for cool. two full weeks you get to see and she she has multiple projects that she works on nice but it's really neat and you would love her because her very favorite vacation is a cruise Ooh. 
<laughs> so, Felicity, you're going to have to um, keep up with us, and maybe you'll go on our stitching cruise in 2023. Gosh, that's going to come so fast. <laughs> it is. We have to start wow. saving those dollars. I can't yeah, say pennies anymore. Yeah, can't say anymore. pennies or dimes anymore. <laughs> I watched um, Lisa Hurley, and I watched one of hers. It was very short, mm -hmm. and uh, that's because Lisa had kitties that morning. <laughs> so um, she was trying to just give us a quick update and then go take care of her kittens again. Aww. It was real cute, real cute. I'll have to watch her. Yeah, she's fun. And then you started watching? Kindred Stitchers. I've seen several of hers. Uh-huh, so, Lisa. Uh-huh. And I watched her last one, and Jamie was sitting with me, and at about three minutes and 30 seconds, she says, oh, and those addicted sisters <laughs> are just a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> and Jamie and I both were like jumping, sitting up going, oh, what's she saying? What's she saying? <laughs> <laughs> and so Nancy messaged me, and when I finally got home... I was looking for it, looking for it, and I was trying to play it for my husband, and it kept it kept messing up during that, and I'm trying to turn the volume up, and then it went backwards, but eventually I played it, and he said, oh, that's just so nice, and that's what I thought, too. Yes, that was it was very so sweet. sweet. Thank you. <laughs> and then you watched? I watched Jan Hicks. So Jan, sorry your husband didn't get that job, but there definitely is something better out there for him. So everybody send good thoughts out yes. for Jan Hicks and her husband into the world. Yes. So. And I loved all your updates. You had a ton that you were showing, and they were just so interesting. I really appreciated that. I um, and you, pulled you a said... couple out and saved them on my Pinterest, too. <laughs> the most fun part for me, of course, was that I got to meet Sasha the cat. <laughs> about that long <laughs> <laughs> I love when the pets go through so uh then we're on to some questions okay okay we um uh, we with our giveaway ask you to comment um on funny things that have happened in videos and and you guys were really creative yeah. with your answers and some of you just use things that maybe have um, you've used on your own videos. Half Stitch Cross Stitch wrote to us and said, She took her son to hell. <laughs> <laughs> it was a vacation spot. So, mm -hmm. you know, it was fun though. I just got a big kick out of that. I do know that when we've looked at cruises, that's one place that you can go. And yeah. one of the things that they say is that you can mail a postcard yes. from hell. And I so. think she said she did. So <laughs> it was fun. And then. Um, Kitchen Stitchers wanted to know who the chart she believed that she could, so she did, was by. That's by Lizzie Kate. Yeah. And didn't you say it had, like, three different ones? No, it has another one that um, has the big chart, of course, but then it has a small chart in, like, a wreath. Oh, okay. You know, and just a little part of the saying in there. So it looked like it was going to be really cute. Okay. Uh, Rhonda Edwards wanted to know... Um, who the cross-eyed cricket, no greater love, who has that? Let me tell you that if you watched our video um, at Heart's Desire or at, um, oh my gosh, I've gone blank, CCN CCs. Company or at Picture This Picture Plus, Plus, if you see any models on their walls, yes. they have the charts. Yeah, because they won't keep them up if they don't have the chart mm -hmm. anymore or if it's... Um, out of print. Yes. So they took down um, one of the ones that I have that I really, really love. Hearts right. Desire did because it's no longer print. available. Mm -hmm. So, um, but also on that cross-eyed cricket, Betty Ulan, and I'm sure I'm butchering, butchering your last name there. Um, you you touched us both and yes. made us both get a little teary. Um, she has stitched the cross-eyed cricket, No Greater Love, twice for two servicemen who were killed, mm -hmm. um, one in service in Afghanistan, and the other is her nephew, who served four tours in the Navy, as a Navy corpsman medic with the Marines, and then he died here in a car, in a car wreck. wreck. And she has plans to stitch it again for a friend in Oklahoma. And Police department. And I'm, it just was really inspiring. And yes. I love that. Betty, I love that you took the time to share that entire little story with us 
because that's how our cross stitch community is getting together and is is really becoming more of a community. Yes. yes. And that's why floss tube's wonderful. It so. is. It is. <laughs> Everybody says that floss tube is wonderful. <clears throat> yes, it is. It's people are great. So, and it's lovely to see so many positive things Absolutely. when there's so much negativity all the time. Yeah. I I've gotten so where I don't even watch the news because it just upsets me. Yeah. So, um, and then uh, Bindi Stitchy Michelle Garrett said that she saw our Quaker samplers. Yeah, and she's and, stitch with Yes, them. she's <laughs> and she's the reason that I decided to go ahead and do it, and that Nancy said, "Okay, I'll do it too." Yeah, and um, we have a friend Sue that I felt kind of bad about because yes. she has um, an injury again and can't get downstairs where her stash is. I know to find hers, and that's why. Sue Sue's not stitching with this yet. If she was closer, I would go down there and search her room for her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so um, you'll see both of ours a little later, and yeah. we'll t we'll show you the pattern and everything else. So it'll it'll be okay. We really will get there and show you about that one. But um, Michelle also wanted to know what was that new purple fabric that I showed. I think that you probably mean the Da Vinci, and I will show it. In a few minutes, and if it's not that, then the other one, the brand new fabric, it's actually a blue, is Hermosa, and I didn't bring that with me today. Mm -hmm. But um, I think the one you want is the one I'm going to show here in a few minutes, so stay tuned. Then Sheila Anderson wanted to know, she watched our video number two, the one in my in craft room, room, which no longer <coughs> exists, and she wanted to know what the alphabet sampler was behind me because she's getting ready to stitch. She wants to stitch something in one color. So, um, got a hair. <laughs> so I think it was this one. Now, floss tube, we need your help. Um, apparently I'm the only person who's ever stitched this <laughs> because we can't find anything about it. Um, I love the verse. It just says, true hearts have ears and eyes, no tongues to speak. They hear and see and sigh, and then they break. And then it has those great alphabets down at the bottom. And it was a lot of fun to stitch. And I, you know, it's it's not really typical of me mm -hmm. at all. And maybe that's what drew me to it is that it's not typical of me. But it's pretty and it's, it's very pretty. You know, I found kind of a fun uh, frame at the old mill stitchery mm -hmm. and they framed it for me and I love it. So that's that. Okay. Next up. It's our big giveaway. <laughs> so, if you remember, we had... Got to get ready for this. Yeah. We had two pieces of fabric, Flapper and Feldspar. And Flapper also comes with two Oriental linen flosses. And Feldspar comes with one... Um, Watercolor one. Wild yeah. flowers. Wild flowers oh. from Karen Collection. And a pendant mm -hmm. as well. So, guess what? We have our baggies. <laughs> I think we're starting with flapper. <clears throat> okay. So here they go. All in the one that you see here is where I taped the name on the bag, but all of the entries are in there. Okay. Here it is, the lucky winner. Dun da da da. Vicki Hibbs, you are the winner Yay! of the flapper fabric and the two oriental linen flosses. So please contact us. You can message me um, on the Floss Tube channel, um, or you can also message me at patternqueen3 at gmail.com. Very good. And I will get back with you. Okay. Feldspar. Feldspar. A lot of you like that linen. It is beautiful. Again, the only one left in here is the one I taped to the front. Okay. Oh. Ooh, I get to draw. Yeah, you showed this one. You get to draw for it. Oh, I can't get a hold of it. <laughs> okay. 
It's exciting. What'd you get? Ooh, Catherine Gill. So Very good. that's it. Yay. Yay, we love that. Okay, so if you, again, if you will contact us, you can email me or message me and uh, we will get that out to you. Um, and that's exciting. I love that. Our 1K great. giveaway. Great, great. Oh, I'll I should have that put that in mine, huh? I'll do that later. Okay, so we want to talk about our previous giveaways <clears throat> because we gave away some really cute little charts and either you didn't hear your name <laughs> or you couldn't figure out how to message me privately on here. So... This little chart, poinsettia stitch or poinsettia in a pot, was won by Louise Setzer. And did she go? On? Was she no? Gone? Okay. And then we had gifts of my life. And who's that one? Martha Johnson. No. This one, gifts of my life, and it was won by Martha Johnson. And. Gloria Hensley. And then the last one was Favorite Things. This one was won by Teresa Sanger, who has contacted us, and we will be getting that out in the mail probably today. Yeah, probably. It'll probably go out in Monday's mail, really. Yeah. Um, but what I need to say is that we have not been contacted by these other three people. So, if you are, I can't remember their names again. Lo, I'm so bad about getting all this. Louise or Martha or Gloria, we need to hear from you this week. Um, and we're going to start a practice just for ourselves going forward so that we don't have to, I'm talking off camera, so that we don't have to keep track of this um, for weeks at a time. We're going, when we draw for something, we're giving you until our next video. So mm -hmm. when we, until our next regular video, right. because we do sometimes have those in a shot Odd. videos. Yeah. But until our next regular video to respond, and then we're going to move on and draw the next person. Yeah. Um, And we, that's not to be mean or anything else. We just, we want to we get want the to stitchy kindness out mm -hmm. in the world. So, so either contact Laura Private Messenger or through her Gmail that she just gave out. Mm -hmm. Or you can look me up on Facebook. Um, I'm on there as Laura Poland Landis. Mm -hmm. And um, you can message me there. I'm I'm fine with that too. So can't find her, find me, Nancy mm -hmm. Nettle, N E T T L E. Mm -hmm. So we'll be happy to help. Go right ahead and find us and and get those messages to us. Yeah. Okay, next we have finishes. <gasps> I have a finish this week. Yay! <laughs> so, you guys saw I started Spring Violets as part of my Stitch Mania um, March starts. And um, that goes in there. Sorry. Okay. And that one, um, that's my second one, my second start. From March, and I actually waited a few days because I decided I didn't like the colors that I had, and instead, I, when we were at Picture This Plus, yes. we worked it all out there. I got this piece of fabric, which I think is the one. Can you help me with the rolly uh -huh. stuff there? Which I think is the one that Michelle wanted to see. Can't. So Michelle, if this is it, it's Da Vinci. But this is my conversion. And it is finished. Yeah, we can bring it close. Uh, Stitching Social says that their mom tells them that you're supposed to show these up close. <laughs> so they're always moving in. I did watch one of them, too. They're so sweet. Yeah. I love them. Um, I use Gentle Arts Avocado, Weak Style Works Havana, Kudzu, Oak, Schneckly, and Ultraviolet. And then uh, Classic Color Works Pansy Purple. So that was my color palette for this, and I did, I mean, that's that fabric again, that's what's left. I figured out that I have, that's, there's a fold up here, I have about this much left. So what I think I'm going to do 
is um, choose one of these violets down here at the bottom and stitch it this way mm -hmm. and put it in one of my shadow box one Yay! of my yeah her what make a small mm -hmm. Good. and i think it'll be it'll be cool i mean my idea a couple years ago was to save the scraps and stitch something from that pattern on it um, to put in those little boxes okay. so that it would be up there well that's what i'm going to try and do okay okay so there's that's pretty. oh i handed you i'm sorry <laughs> I just like she just keeps food. giving handing so me everything. Uh, I didn't know. Now this this chart already okay. has a name on it. Right. Is my is my sister stitching this first? Or? Mm, I don't know. So it could go away and then come back if it yeah. needs to. Pam Lacey, congratulations! Next time I see you, yes, I will pass this to you. <laughs> you may have to you may have to send it back to Nancy after you're done. If she decides she wants to do it. <laughs> and Nancy's would look completely different, and then we would have to show them again. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, breaks our heart. So tough. <laughs> tough job, let me tell you. Okay, so previous finishes. You want to show yours? I want to show one that I did. Actually, I started this when we were going on a cruise. It was you and me and Jeff. No, you and me and... Is, is this our... No, I think it's maybe maybe Katie because you were across the aisle from me. Oh, okay. So I started this on the plane. Why they think it's okay to have needles, but you can't have scissors, I don't know. But this one is called All Our Troubles by La Di Da. And you know, I've told you a thousand times that I am not a perfect stitcher. Well, no, I'm not. I know I added an extra leaf out here <laughs> because it didn't work out right. And I just didn't like the way it ended. <laughs> so I added more to it. But I love this saying. It's, if all our troubles were hung on a line, you would take yours and I would take mine. So I think that's cute. I, I hope like, you like it. it. And it, the, the blue fabric's really pretty with it. It's kind Real of a grayish pale. blue. Mm -hmm. Um. The one that I'm going to show, I keep leaning off camera today. I'm really bad. Oh, I was going to show that as a fun, silly thing. Oh, okay. Um, I'll sit back while you do this. Have a tea. <laughs> yeah, she, she's doing that because this is one that she stitched for me. <laughs> we keep showing you pieces that I stitched for Nancy. And Nancy has stitched for me, even though she hasn't been stitching as long. This one is called, um, oh, I was going to show what it looked like on there first. Yeah, because you know it's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> so it's called Heart Song by Drawn Thread. You turn it a little. And it's really, really pretty. I like it. Laura sings, so when I saw that, it, it just spoke <laughs> to me for her. So it says, a song in the heart is prophecy in part. And this is how Nancy did it for me. It makes me think of a Valentine. So I just love it. And look at the pretty frame. Now, Nancy has a story and a half about that frame. <laughs> well, I took it to the local uh, hobby shop. And um, and not the hobby one, but yeah. Uh-uh, not the hobby one. But um, I picked out. A frame and a mat that I wanted and I, it was gonna be gorgeous and you saw the size of it mm -hmm. when I came back in to pick it up it was literally <laughs> this big here's the piece it's about I, I, it's probably no more than two to three inches wide and I betcha it's about five. four yeah four or five inches and high. they had not left any fabric around it oh I they, didn't realize yeah, that they put the mat right up to it and then I had about this much mat on both sides so more than the width of the piece yes and then this big humongous frame all around it and I looked at it and I said no that's not my piece and they're like when they brought it out all wrapped up and they're like oh yeah it's yours I couldn't believe it I just I could not believe it. I made him take it out, and I was giving it to her that day. And so, you know, I'm like, 
I just want my piece. Just give me back my piece. And I took it and went to the hobby place, the real <laughs> hobby place, and found that frame, matted it up, got it all done, gave it to her. Yeah. And I love it. Oh. It's really, really pretty. And really, I think it turned out so much prettier oh, than yeah. it did in that other frame. Uh, the the frame that you got is really ornate. I so it's I mean it's really pretty. But it's it's um so dark that it just fades into the yeah, background. And it's kind of um almost like a shadow box because it's so mm -hmm. deep. Mm -hmm. But I love it. I'm gonna do it for myself someday too. <laughs> so that was Heart Song by Drawn Thread. Yeah. And Nancy thinks she probably used the called for threads or... I think so. Or I made a, might have tweaked one or two, but... And I didn't show you, but there's specialty stitches in it because, mm -hmm. you know, drawn thread, they can't go without. But the tree, I had Girl, no idea what out. we were doing. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this is like right after she started stitching again. Yeah, and so I just kind of did baby. what I thought it was doing. And I, I loved how that tree turned out. And uh, then I think there's some over ones, and I thought, oh my gosh, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> but it worked out. It's beautiful. Thank you. No, thank I thought you. So, too. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one that we want to talk about <clears throat> is something Laura stitched for me. And and I swore through the whole thing. So here's our warning. <laughs> Swear words will be used. <laughs> Obscenities. I don't even know which one was first. I don't either. I think I I want to think that the white one was. Okay, so I'll just put them side by side. This is what she did for me. These are from the old Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazine, and there was a series, and there were three, um, but my subscription ran out after two. Thank goodness. Darn it. But she gave them to me because um, I, in my kitchen at this time, which was 1988, um, I had a wallpaper that looked like chicken wire all over. And then I had chicken, a chicken border all over. I had tons of chickens everywhere. This was before chickens were really popular. <laughs> so ducks were in, I believe, and I was having a hard time finding stuff. Hey, Chelsea, I think you can still get these patterns. You can buy <laughs> the Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazines and buy these. And they're I, really cute. So these were dubbed those damn chickens <laughs> because I was still an Ada stitcher and there are a lot of fractional stitches in it. And everything is backstitched as well. And I mean, it just, the fractional stitches are what killed me. Um, trying to shove my needle through the center of the... <laughs> the Ada? <laughs> yes, and not in a hole, but through the fabric itself yeah. um, was really difficult. And I did, it worked out. Nancy's birthday is Christmas Eve. I gave her mm -hmm. one for her birthday, wrapped in birthday paper. And I gave her the other one as a Christmas gift wrapped in Christmas paper. <laughs> so, but, you know, my husband would laugh at me because I would be talking about those damn chickens. Well, and didn't he cut the uh, he did. mat for me? He matted and framed this yeah. for me. So, bless his heart. I mean, yeah. that's, you, that's a pretty fancy little mat. Yeah. yeah, see, with the curved cut, it matches just perfect all the way around. Mm-hmm. Now, I wish we would have left a little more room, but we really didn't have it because no. those frames are tight. Yeah. But but they still, 1988, and they are still <laughs> up in my kitchen, so I love them. And I have had, pe oh, I have <laughs> had people offer to buy the magazine for me so I can stitch the third one for her. the third one is so cute. It really is very pretty. However... I feel like aesthetically it would need to be stitched on the same thing and I just cannot bring myself to stitch <laughs> on Ada to do that third chicken. So hey, maybe we'll get Jamie to do it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so if you would like to stitch a gift for my sister Nancy, you go back and find that third pattern <laughs> and just get some nice kind of it's not white really it's kind of a nice um well it may have been white at one time but you know with I the think age... it's a cream color because I had yeah. the white chicken 
But yeah, it is just plain old Ada, like nothing fancy. And you just stitch that right up in the DMC and then you can mail it to her. <laughs> you can contact me and I'll give you her address and it can be a secret. <laughs> a secret, I tell you. And I would love it. I would love it to death. <laughs> Oh my gosh! But yes, so we that always should... we always get a cackle about yes. that one, and we tell almost everybody who sees them about the damn chickens. Yeah. And really, I mean, we don't swear a whole lot. No, well, uh, you, you, I do <laughs> in the car. Yeah. In the car. <laughs> um, but I mean, you've dealt with us for weeks here now. We're yeah. that's not who we are. But oh. I mean, like, I think my blood pressure is raised just talking about them. <laughs> they, it was trauma. It was traumatic for me. Yeah, That's so. hilarious. Okay, anyway. So, we're up to... Something stash. fun! Hey, I have something kind of in between. Okay. I'll talk about this one. Um, I had a big moment this week. Woo! On um, April 4th. I hit my goal. So I was challenged by a friend. Hi, Phyllis. Hey, Phyllis. To stitch every day for 100 days. And Phyllis gave us this great um, this great gumball, gumball jar to color in for every day. I color-coded mine. You can see I used like a gold for December, and then it went on from there. So... And that made it easier for me to keep track if I didn't color every day, which I didn't color every day. I did stitch every day. Um, and sometimes that was a real challenge for me. Well, you've got so many things going on now at home, mm -hmm. you know, after work. It, so. uh, yeah, but I, I absolutely made time. I upset my daughter and said, I have to stop. Because I have to stitch, mm -hmm. so... At least five minutes. Yeah. I would say every time when we were working, I've got to stop by 11 o'clock, 11 p.m., mm -hmm. so that I have that hour to be able to get stuff out and wow. and put some time in. And there were times when we started talking about it at 11 o'clock, and I didn't pull it out until probably 11.30 or 11.45. Wow. And I'd already been in bed an hour at least. <laughs> and, I mean, I had some late nights Ooh. and everything else. But, um, Phyllis... If you watch this, will you please put this in your comment down below for us? Because I know we're going to get asked for this graphic. Yeah. And um, it uh, it was really fun. And it's something that I feel like you should try. Um, it doesn't seem like that much, but seriously, to try and, and stitch every day for 100 days yeah. is... A lot. Well, and what I wanted to point out, too, on the gumballs is they're not straight across numbered. Yeah. Like, here's one, here's two, here's three, four, five, six, you know, so you're moving all over. So your graph isn't going to be filled, like, from the bottom of the jar yeah. up. It's all over. And then, where's 100? I just saw it a minute ago. It's right here in purple. Here. So, see, it's down here. So, see what I mean? So it's going to be fun to fill and fun to do. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, you know, I have still stitched every other day this week. In fact, I've already stitched today. Me too. And which is unusual for me. I don't normally stitch early in the morning like this. Yeah. Well, we kind of got a late start. So. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm <clears throat> contemplating again getting another jar. Oh my goodness! Because I really, you, you know, yes, and and I honor my obligations. And I, obligation is a weird word, kind kind of a negative word. Um, I honor my commitments. Commitment. And um, I really enjoyed doing that. That was fun for me. So, I don't know. Maybe my sister is, will do that with I me. I don't think so. You stitch almost every day I at lunch. I do stitch almost every single day. But there's something about saying I'm going to do it. <laughs> that makes you not want to do it. Mm -hmm. That's the stubborn mule in her. Mm -hmm. I'm from Missouri. <laughs> okay, so stash. Oh, stash. Woohoo! So, you know, we, yeah, and we have to tell about next Saturday, last Saturday, too. Yeah. Okay, so we, last Saturday, went to um, CC, CC and, and Company. Company. I couldn't get that, I couldn't get that in my mind. I kept thinking Wichita, Heart's Desire. And I got two designs. I picked this up. Uh, Little House Needleworks Spring ABCs 
So now I have three of these. I know what I'm gonna do with them when they're done, but I have to figure out how I wanna do them. I think I know if I can find banding, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna do mine on banding. You can find that, but I because will, all of those are NG. But I want them to people. have a pretty design down the side, and those are they hard to find. They had some really pretty ones on those, though. So I've got that, and then I picked up this. Uh, mm. <laughs> While she's checking out. Yeah, my sister goes, oh, did you see this? <laughs> you probably can't show that pattern. I so, know, that's yeah. what I'm going to do, it, fold it. So it's by Hands On Design. It's called Farm Fresh. <laughs> so got the that little pattern and look it came with those pins and the cute yep so it's a free design yeah um but um oh that's an egg yes i was gonna turn that over and that's an egg <laughs> <laughs> but so cc and company had it packaged with the pins so that you could buy the pins yeah at the same time because i think they were exclusive I, I'm not sure. So I think so. They're very cute. They really are adorable. And I wanted to show you, she is so sweet out there. She knew we were coming, and in her bags this time, she gave us all a little gift. So see, a piece of chocolate, a piece of floss, um, a needle... And looks like a little notebook. Those, well, no, those cards. Oh, those are probably so if you, coupon you can cards. Read it. No, read. Label your fabric and know exactly the size, count, and project. So it's just a tag that you're supposed to fasten onto your project. I've already pulled mine out and played I'm with like, it. I'm like, how do you know this? <laughs> so you fasten it oh. onto your project. So these aren't flosses. These are different strings. Yes. So, um, and, yeah. And this is such a cute little idea. So see, she's got all of that inside. And then her name on the outside. Very cute. Kathy always comes up with such yes. cute things. And speaking of last weekend, we had, I think all together, there were about 15 or yes. so of us. Uh, and a few extra people who just kind of wandered into the store and didn't know we would be there. And enjoyed, <laughs> yeah, enjoyed chatting with us and all that. And uh, we had a great lunch. We have some plans upcoming. Uh -huh. We are our friend Debbie Williams. Has Hi, agreed. <laughs> has agreed to host the next yeah, time. Yeah, I'm so excited for that. Yes, and she will go to CC and Company again. Uh huh. And Debbie said that she lives about 20 minutes away. And Debbie she... drives fast. <laughs> well, she rode with the other Debbie this oh, time. Oh, that's right? true. That's true. But anyway, so she will host us at her house. She said she has plenty of room, and we are looking at doing that on June, June 9th. 9th. Yeah. June 9th. And do you think we will eat at Debbie's or will we? Yes, I think we're going to potluck there. We need to Let's finalize those plans and we'll, we'll yeah, announce we'll it a little know. closer. We'll let you know for sure. So if you're in the Kansas City area, plan to be there June 9th. We'll go yeah. have our fun day. Fun, fun. More of your stash. More stash. My friend, my friend, Phyllis Thompson gave me a surprise. She gave me a stitchy bag. And it says crazy cat lady. <laughs> and inside, get a load of those little paw prints. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So thank you, Phyllis. That was fun to get. Mm -hmm. Same on the back here. And then I got from uh, Silk Weavers. I won one of their auctions. And I got this pattern, which is by Homespun Elegans. Mary Noel Collection. Christmas piece. Oh, it's really pretty. So, I've got the little sheepy on there. I had to get that. I just could not go without it. I haven't seen that. That's really pretty. Thank you. And then fabric I got from them. Stitch this fast, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is Meadow Mist. And this is a 30 count, which normally I do 28, but I think I'll be okay. Really pretty green. Pale, pale really, green. Really, really pretty. So, I don't know what I'm going to do on this, but... And see, I thought it looked kind of blue. Yeah, but it's green, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. So, we'll see. Maybe it's blue-green. It you probably know. changes, you know, some of that fabric, how it mm -hmm. changes with the color that you put on it. So, mm -hmm. just like my eyes. Is that all your stash? That's my stash. Okay. So, my stash begins with... I should do this, too. 
a bag from Phyllis. Look at the crazy hilarious. cats. They're hysterical. And my bag also has the black interior. And I really like it with my crazy colored uh -huh. cats. So thank you, Phyllis. It's yeah. really, really cute. It's really sweet of you. And then I put all of my stash inside. And I think I kind of... Oh, um, oh, oh. <laughs> Karen Gieselman had this stitched and showed it at our stitch retreat. And I just loved it. And she said, well, I will just get you that chart. So oh. this week in the mail, I got this. It's from Little House Needleworks. It's called Winter Wonderland. I know you have all seen this because you have all been tearing it up and stitching this one. That's one I want. So isn't that cute? I want that one. So you need to hurry up. <laughs> okay. You do peace. I'll do. Yeah. <laughs> So that was that one. These are winter stitches, though, so you know it's going to be a little bit before I get to that again. And then um, while I was at CC and Company, <laughs> sorry, Debbie, <laughs> I got the very last copy of this hands-on design, Oh Say Can You See, and I love this thing, and it came with the velveteen oh. to finish it. Is so it it's called Blue Corn Velveteen from Lady Dot Creates. It no, I, it's really cool. I think that's just stuff in the bag. Oh. So we'll see. But cute. that's that cute, cute, cute. one. And yeah, there was one. almost a fight in the store. It, it was a little bit. ugly. Yeah. Debbie kept saying, if she lays that down, I'm picking it up. <laughs> and she would have, too. <laughs> and she's taller than Lars. Yeah. So she probably would have won. Um, and then the, that's what I got out there. But then I also placed an order with one, two, three stitch. And you know what? When you put one, one pattern in your, um, in your Basket. cart, mm -hmm. it only, I mean, it charges you the shipping. I, I thought I can't pay that kind of shipping for one chart. So I put two more charts in my bag. Do you think there bag. was logic behind that? <laughs> So and Not it was on still your part on their part. Yeah, it was still the same same yeah. price. This one is from um Vintage Gervais. Yeah. Where did it Brenda say Gervais. it? Oh there we go. It's from Brenda Gervais with thy needle and thread, and this one is called Spring Delivery. Oh, let me I just say turning. <laughs> and I you know, I don't know if I've said this a lot, but I love rabbits. But that they need is, to be good rabbits. Yeah. And that one is so cute. I might have to do that one, too. I saw some really great ones this She's week. She's filling my stash with her stuff. <laughs> and then... <gasps> <laughs> this one has been <laughs> on my wish list. I'm about to say a swear word. <laughs> <laughs> this one has been on my wish list. And I thought, okay. I, I looked on my Pinterest board and just bought a couple of the charts that I had on there. So this one is from the Drawn Thread, and it's called... La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fa, la, 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 because it's Deck the Holes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love that. Okay, first of all, it's Cardinals. Yes. And that is a Nancy favorite. Absolutely. I mean, we both love to stitch birds, but Nancy really loves oh, Cardinals. man. But I saw that, and I thought, I have just got to have it. I love how the leaves are two-toned, and all the little berries, and, you know, on, on Drawn Thread, well, you can tell because her tea is so flowy. She mm -hmm. always does things throughout her designs. I mean, look at those branches. They're just flowing and pretty. Everything's always... Yeah, I love, gorgeous, love, love her design. Gorgeous design. And you know what? I don't know if that's straight cross stitch or if she's done something extra in it. A lot of times you get her charts and there are some extra stitches to like do. I, yeah, like I did on yours. And I was like, oh my God. Oh, look, it does because yeah. there's, there's one picture. That's the bird beak. Yep, so I'll be doing something fun with that. And then some straight, uh, what do you some call Some back it? stitching. Back stitching. Yeah. But, but that's not bad. No, I love, love, love her charts. So the other one that I got. Ah, ooh, what does that say? That's a Jessica and a Smyrna. All those bees. Oh, okay. That'll be okay. Jessica's are, are busy stitches, and that's okay because they look really great when you finish. Wow. So it looks pretty. Um, my next one, I showed you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hit 
Henriette, Fiona. Yeah, I showed you guys. The, Fiona. <laughs> I showed you the uh, needle minder that I got from Janice. I yes. showed you that last week. And the reason that I loved it so much is that I watched Pam and Stephanie, and Stephanie was stitching the Tribal Hippo from White Willow Stitching, and she was doing it because of Fiona, who was born in captivity at their zoo, and who's just doing so well, and I just love this. I don't know what color I will do mine on, but, you know, I'm going to have fun with that. It's cute. It's just a silly thing. Gosh. And then, um, I mean, yeah, this bag is, like, never-ending down here. Yeah, this is like Judy's mystery bag. Yeah. <laughs> so, the one other thing I got. Ooh. And, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's, is that a magnet? That's a It's not. Button. But it's going to be a magnet. Oh, I Because won't that be pretty? Yeah. So somebody mentioned that you could go onto Etsy and buy um, these grab bags of dinky dye silks that they're, there's nothing wrong with them. They've either decided that they're not going to uh, continue carrying the color or that it's not a color that they want to produce. How did I miss that? I, th I kind so, of think I heard somebody talking about it last Saturday at lunch. But the that was me. <laughs> Sitting next to you. Because <laughs> I told everybody about it. Uh, but anyway, it came in the mail this week. <laughs> so I got this bag of Dinky Dye Silks. Wow. Now, let me tell you. This is, I believe it's a two, four, six, eight, ten. This has 20 skeins of silk. Man. And I paid $20 for this. A dollar a skein. And then look at this. I got this, and it just says, with our compliments. And oh, you can't see that very well. Here, let me do it like this. And I got a few more. Wow. Look at that. Just little shortcuts. And then it says, thank you for your order, Dinky Dye Silk. And it has this pretty little ribbon on it that I just flipped to the back so we can see. Look at that. I love bird. that button. So cute. And it's a little button. I checked it out. I thought, oh, they sent me a needle minder. Well, no. They may not have sent me a needle minder, but it will soon be one. That is sweet. So that was my purchase. Wow. And there's one left in here, but you can't see it. Oh. But I, I, I would love to tell you a story about customer service, and I'm not going to name where it came from. Okay. Um, I purchased this pattern, and... Um, pattern. Who says that? Why we make fun of him? Who says that? <laughs> I think my daughter did when she was little. Oh. There's a pattern. Okay. <laughs> um, but I purchased this pattern, and... I didn't pay any attention to it because, you know, my sister was with me and I was trying to be sneaky. <laughs> oh. So at one of the places that we've been, I was I was just trying to be sneaky. Yeah, I'm trying to think, where did she buy something? I wasn't at the counter. <laughs> but um, you were at the counter when oh, I bought it. Oh, man. But I, um, anyway, when I got home, I looked at it and it was marked what I thought was kind of high for the chart. So I went online and I looked and yes, it should have been like half Ooh. of what I paid. And um, I thought, well, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there was supposed to be fabric or threads or something else in with mm -hmm. it because, you know, that's common at the shops that we go to that yeah. you can buy them with stuff in them. Yeah. So I sent... Semi-kitted or yes, fully kitted. Yes. So I sent a message and I just said, hey, I just wanted to check if there was supposed to be something else in this because, um, you know, I just felt like it was a little high. And, I, you know, I know that you oftentimes include things in with it. And I sent that out into the world and it came back with a lovely reply that said, I am so sorry we have overcharged you. Oh. And we've overcharged you by this much. How how do you want it back? Well, of course, you know, I said, can it what just... What kind of stash can I get? <laughs> can it just stay there and be a shop credit for me? 
And, you know, I, so it never hurts to ask if you if you have something like that happen. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was it was a case where they had absolutely I think that when they uh, got the stock in Originally. that it just got mixed in with another chart that that they were charging more for. That makes sense. And it just got marked that way. Yeah. So uh, no, it doesn't bother me at all because I ask and I do feel funny. I, you probably would well, too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, did you like, did you charge, charge me, me double? <laughs> but I'm glad I well, did. That just goes to prove that all of those shops, because we've been to three recently and I have no idea who you're talking about, but every single one mm-hmm. of those shop owners are so conscientious, mm-hmm. and they are focused on us, mm-hmm. not on them. And so I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, I mean, it's... And I wasn't going to share that story, but I thought that's really too good to yeah. to not share because you do need to make sure that you talk with your shop owners. Yeah. Yeah. They should know who you are and, you know... I'm and. You know what? I didn't even get asked for my receipt or anything else. I just got a, oh, I'm sorry, we overcharged you. Let's get it taken care mm-hmm, of. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, because you, if you make that relationship with them, they're going to know to trust you. Mm-hmm. And they're going to do everything they can to keep you coming. Mm-hmm. So, But, you know, in the same token, if they had charged you the right amount. Yeah, I would have just said, Okay, and I would have paid more attention <laughs> from here on out. Yeah, but because um, you know that they are honest too. Yes, yes. So, so that was a good experience. Okay, we want to talk about our stitch along that's coming up <sighs> May eighth. May eighth. That's going to be here quicker than we even think. But I have. Should I take it out of the bag? Yeah. We've seen several of you say, I'm going to stitch with you. And I'm like, yay. <laughs> I'm yeah. so excited that, that somebody's actually going to like it. Because we have a couple of our friends who very honestly said, hey, that's just not my style. Right. And, and that's, that's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, I mean, I love it. Mm-hmm. I, what's not to love, right? That looks really dark screen. Here is the piece again. Two B's and ABC's by Rosewood. And Kathy at CC and Company has several of these in, so please yes. do feel free to contact her. Um, and remember, she said she would be happy to kit it up for you. Mm-hmm. So However you that. want it. So she's got some beautiful fabrics in her shop, and um, if you decide to go on something other than white. Hey, look. This blue I'm using is what I used on my bar <laughs> Well, that'll be cool. Yeah. I mean, those pieces will probably be up at the same time. Yeah, they will. And I've got all I've got almost all of my flosses set. And I've got this pretty blue fabric. That's because Lars sat here one day and was picking through all my flosses to make sure I had them. <laughs> oh, did you just leave them on there? Then? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I have been um my daughter has me in the midst of opening a business, and um, I have been sewing like a fiend. I can I can show you one. We are Sorry, she's I'm making noise. She's in the book world, and she's big on Bookstagram on Instagram, and <coughs> excuse me. Um, one of the things that's big for them are book sleeves, and. So this is one that I've made. This is a standard size. Mm-hmm. And our company is called Love You More. So our shop... <coughs> now I have a tickle. Oops. So our shop on Etsy is Love You More Studio Co. Well, tell them what this symbol is. Well, not everybody If you're a know. reader, you know that this is Harry Potter, the Deathly Hallows. It's just kind of a cool fabric. And yeah. inside... I've used gold lame. Now, the ones that we're going to put out, I really do have a tickle. Excuse us. <coughs> this is really pretty, though, and it's made real well. It's, It's got a stiff, not a semi-stiff batting in it to keep everything. Yeah, it's a flex bone. Um, the ones that I'm sending out into the world um, will have gold lame, but I found a different kind of gold lame that's a, oh. a, a warp. I can't think what it was called. It reminded me of the Kiana that we had when we were younger. Mm. You know, that slinky material. Oh. Which, 
you know, but I just, I've got to have that pretty gold inside. Yeah, I'm afraid this, what you have here, might not wear very well, but I'm I've glad been, you found something that would work better. So I've been carrying, this is my floss tube notebook, and I have been carrying it inside here um, because it has these rings and I really wanted to see how it would wear. Yeah. Not a spot good, on it. Good, I mean, good. So it's stronger than we think. And I've been carrying it back and forth to school and I've been squeezing, you know, where the ring binder is. Mm -hmm. I carry it to every class. I've got it, mm -hmm. you know, and I've made a point to take this in and out several times a day. But we have several designs up already and Different sizes, too. Yes. We have some that are going to fit the Kindle. This one, I have an iPad mini that's what we film on, and it fits beautifully in this standard size. And then we're also doing a um, Kindle size mm -hmm. and a full-size iPad size. Now, really, this is for the book world. So we're doing a, um, a trade paperback size. That's the Kindle. And the standard size will fit... Like the bigger um, paperbacks, and they have one that they talk about that's a fat book, and it will fit inside this standard size. And then the bigger one will just fit some bigger books and things. So, mm -hmm. but it's kind of fun. But I have been stitching, I, no, I've been sewing, 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 sewing. Mm -hmm. That's what's made my 100 day challenge such a challenge because. I've been sewing every day to get these ready to go out. Now, before you move off of those, um, are all of them open or are some of them closed? No, they're all open right okay. now. Okay. Um, and what I've been sewing so much on is that we um, are being featured in uh, Shelf Love Reads this month. And all of those little boxes went out into the world this week. And so they should arrive on Monday and... Put your good thoughts out there for us because yes. I'm hoping to see some unboxings that'll be fun and have some good things to That'd say about great. them. That'll be great. That'll be great. Can't wait to. Yeah. But anyway, back to us. <clears throat> um, so we, that was our stitch along. Mm -hmm. Oh, the next thing we want to talk about is our stitchy kindness for this week. So we started this last week and kind of messed up because, you know, we had forgotten we were going <laughs> we to do excited. our 1K giveaway. So some of you have already responded about this, and you don't need to respond again. Yeah. I have all your little names. Yeah. I, 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 We've put them. They're folded right up there. Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Birds. So everything has a big B. All of you who responded on the last video are in there. Oh, and I have some blank slips in there. Uh, to get the rest of them in this week. So if you did not respond last week and you're interested in this, it is Birds of a Feather. It was a mystery stitch along uh, by Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread. And I'm sorry, there it is. And Nancy and I showed you in our last video a comparison of mm -hmm. our two pieces. Mm -hmm. So if you would be interested in this, please don't say giveaway, don't say prize, Freebie. don't say yeah, any of that stuff. Must be 18, must be a subscriber of our channel. Mm -hmm. Right? And just say, I would like to stitch the birds. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Not that's the Alfred Hitchcock. Movie. Yeah. Oh, scary again. <laughs> so that that's that, and we will get that out. And you'll put your name in, and when we announce it next week, you'll have one week, and then we'll move on to the next person. Right. Hopefully we don't move on to people. So. Right. Um, the last thing that we want to talk about are our current plans and projects, and I believe we both have the same current project. Yes, we do. So here is our Quaker Garden from Blackbird Designs, and it was a loose feathers um, pattern from, I can't even tell you. I guess I could look. Is that what we... I think it's on the back. 2006. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's been around a while, and I'm very sorry. This is one of those patterns that is like $75 and up on eBay, yeah. and it's hard to find, and... And I'm not sure I can part with mine when I'm done. Yeah. Um, it, it's such a beautiful mm -hmm. 
And it's stitching so sweet. And I just think there's so many pretty <clears throat> elements. Like I would love to do the butterfly on a little thing for oh, yeah. You know, I just um, well, and then and then the little doves and and this. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> Nancy's much further than I am now. So here's where I was last week over here. Well, I have since added in that alphabet, this motif, which that darn thing took me three days, I think, because I couldn't get it in, I'd take it out. I'd put it in, I'd take it out. It was like three or four times. And now I'm across the top all the way, and I'm starting on the other side, which I've already taken this out once this morning, too. <laughs> So, I don't know, maybe we have about the same amount done, but mine's all condensed on yeah. one side. Yeah. Um, and what's your fabric, do you remember? Uh, this, I don't know the name of it, but it comes from uh, PTP. Because it's the same, remember, it's got the cut. It's the one that I did, um, the other side was more solid. Huh. And I did my my silver bells on it. So. Now, mine is a sequ. A seek, a silk <laughs> weaver solo. Uh, this is a me fabric because it's where I said me. Yeah. Uh, but this is what I have done. This is my whole piece. Let me just do that and yeah. get it out of our way. It's and pretty. This it's very pretty. Is what I've stitched so far. And um, so you know, I, I'm working on that one half. Mm -hmm. Nancy's getting all the way across her fabric. I don't know. I'm up here in this little motif, which is the one that she said she's having problems with, and or that she was. I did, yeah. But, you know, it's okay now. Mm -hmm. So here we go. <laughs> you hold that end? <laughs> so there you go. Oops. So there's a comparison right there. <laughs> There we go. And you can see our two birds because the uh -huh. ends are, you know, the same thing. Mm -hmm. I think so it's very different. Cool. But I really love it. And, you know, um, I started this because Michelle Bendy Stitchy said she was getting ready to stitch it with friends. And I thought, I have that. I've loved that forever. Yeah. I'm going to pull it out and do it. Dog on it. So, uh, and now that I've finished my... Um, my violet sampler, mm -hmm. then I will probably focus more on this. Although I did see that I have previously started the Halloween Eve, which I would yeah. like to get back to. And I would like to get close on it. Yeah. Well, you've relatively. Got, you've got easier things yes. now. On the yes, top. it should go fast. Yeah. And um, then also my um, oh, Dance of the Tulips, the great big <gasps> oh, one. Oh, yeah. That this is the perfect time of year to be stitching yeah. that. So I think probably that's what I will be working on this week. I'll be working on this. Quaker Garden. Nancy will finish. I will still be. I don't know. I mean, as fast as you stitch, you may count. <laughs> and as many times as I've had to take things out, <laughs> you'll probably be caught up with me next week. Uh, I think I'm looking at this and we are over an hour. Yes. I don't know how that happens, guys. We really do try to be quick with these. Yeah, and you know, the goal is to keep them no longer than 45, so we've got to figure out how to cut 15 minutes out somewhere. <laughs> we don't talk. We don't chat. <laughs> we just get right to the point. So that is pretty much it for this week. So she's Nancy. And she's Laura. And we are the, the Addicted, Addicted Sisters. Sisters. Have a great stitchy week. Bye-bye. <laughs>